The vitreous gel is jelly material that fills most of the eyeball. If it becomes opacified, light cannot get any more to the retina and causes decrease in vision. My name is Dr. Imad Aboud. I'm the chief of the posterior segment department in the Eye Institute at the Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. And we are a team of two vitreoretinal surgeons. Because there is an opacity inside the eye, the logical thing is to remove the opacity to clear the way for the light to reach the retina. And the way to do that is the removal of the vitreous jelly. And this is what we call vitrectomy. The instruments go through a part in the eye that we call the pars plana, and it is really the white that surrounds the center in that we look in the eye. The most important benefit from this surgery is visual improvement. As we are removing the opacity from the eye, it allows light to get in and the patient sees better or clearer. Vitrectomy is, um, like most eye procedure, uh, performed on an outpatient basis. The vitrectomy takes, on average, one hour and a half. It's mostly performed under local anesthesia. We make three incisions, each less than one millimeter, in the pars plana. We use one of the incisions to introduce light, the other incision to introduce the vitreous cutter, that will remove the vitreous, and the third incision to bring the fluid that will replace the vitreous. We introduce the vitreous cutter inside the vitreous gel, and in a very controlled manner, we start removing it. The rate of removal is very controlled. Technology is extremely effective in allowing us to control every step of the procedure. After removing the vitreous, we replace it initially with fluid, but then at the end of the procedure, either we leave the eye filled with a gas bubble or with an oily substance bubble. We remove the instruments, and these incisions are so small that at the present time, they don't even require suturing. We put some antibiotic ointments and patch the eye. The eye has to be covered for only a day, and then the recovery period requiring just some eye drops. After vitrectomy, we sometimes ask the patient to keep a certain position. This is usually for about a week at the most, sometimes only for three days, so that what we inject inside the eye pushes and supports the weak part of the retina. We do see them on the first post-operative day, and then a week later to ensure that everything is healing well. However, to return to full activity in general, we uh, give them a period of about two to three weeks. It is extremely rewarding to see the patient who was needing constant help before the surgery come on the follow-up, walking by himself, performing his daily activities alone, and most importantly, having a big smile on his face.